guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tony Fergie. Let me take the time out to thank all my subscribers. The old one, the new ones, the one that just keep coming back because they love what they hear. If you're not subscribed, why aren't you? Anyways, y'all, I want y'all to watch this video. <laughs> Tell me what y'all think. About the day after you become president, once you've become president next year. So you've talked about anti-colonialism and anti-imperialism. Uh, I'm the ambassador of Spain, sorry, Raimundo mm -hmm. Robredo. The European Union's relationship with Africa and African countries is generally guided, I would say absolutely guided, by the priorities of those countries that are aligned with the African Union and with this country. Other thing is cooperation in peace and security, for instance, in Cabo Delgado, which uh, I think I've heard that you've also critical of that, is done at the request of these countries. So my question is, what would you do differently and what would be your relationship with the European Union once you become president? What would you change? What would you think we should do differently? And what would you put on the table also as a value proposition for the European Union? Because as you said, uh, we all defend our own national interests. That is something that all diplomats do. So what would you propose to the European Union differently from the value proposition of Africa today, South Africa and Africa? And what would you request from us? How would South Africa's policy towards the EU be different? Also regarding trade, for instance, the preferential trade agreements, TDCA, or AGOA with, with the US, would you change that? Thank you. Look, economic integration, trading partners, developmental concepts, we embrace all of that. But it doesn't mean we're ideologically naive. And therefore, um, if we were to trade with the USA or to trade with the UK, we trade from a perspective of knowing that we don't share the same ideologies. When you approach them, you know these ones are brutal. I must not sleep on the job. They are not friends. We are not born alone. We are born with people. That's what friends are for. And to have friends that are aligned with you ideologically is nothing wrong. It's not an old-fashioned thing. It's actually apolitical to want to approach politics without ideological orientation. From which ground do you move from? What informs your perspective as a person who is a political animal? It's important always to have our ideolo sharing ideological perspective with China. It doesn't mean you can't get a foreign direct investment from Norway or from UK or from uh, uh, Germany. No. You always relate with all countries. Foreign direct investment is more than welcome, but on our terms. Not on Germany's terms. No. We have been giving Germany a lot of money here in South Africa for assembling cars. Not for building cars, for assembling cars. Why is Germany not building those cars here? And create jobs here? Yeah. In South Africa, we have a problem of unemployment here. Germany will not have a problem. It needs leadership that is decisive, that is going to say, look, we are going to meet you halfway, but you have to meet us halfway. Assembling is not enough. Let's start it here and build it here. So, Yemeni's investment under the EFF government is not threatened at all. It, the same as any other investment. But we are going to renegotiate the deals. And they must be to the interest of Africans. Botswana did it now, where uh, DBS just wanted to change a diamond deal and all of Botswana said it's not going to happen. You are going to trade here and do diamond here on our terms. Mm -hmm. Botswana screamed, I mean, DBS screamed, kicked, did all manner of things. If this thing is not signed by when, when we leave, they said you can go. But yeah, we are going to sign the deal on our terms. DBS went back and signed. So that's leadership. Don't behave like you still have power when you don't have power. And what did you guys think? Are they afraid that Julius Malema may become president of South Africa? Wait a minute now. Is that fear I hear in their voices? See, y'all have to know what's going on in the atmosphere. And you have to know what's going on and why 
the fear is there. Y'all, the shift has begun. I'm not sure who would be good for South Africa or who won't be good for South Africa because we don't know. We just have to just watch and see what's going on. Leave your comment below. Tell me what you guys think. Thank you guys for coming back. This is Tony Fergie at you. Got lots more coming up. Keep you guys informed. Take care now.